Hey everybody, it was Kat. Did a great unboxing video. Um, I realized that my full name and address were on the side all the way through the video. And I thought, you know what? Some of you probably noticed that. And don't want any crazy people showing up at my door. Uh, well, any more crazy people than I already do. So yeah, the BioLite, BioLite Solar Home 620 arrived. And as you can see, this is the box. It is portable and light. Uh, at the end of this video, I link uh, my original video where I was talking about that I bought this. Please don't feel free, you have to look at that video. But definitely scroll down and read Savage Survival's excellent comments uh, that he made on this particular product. Uh, I agree with him. It is underpowered um, and there is some issues with it. For the use, which is to provide light uh, in a couple of garden sheds during the transition period, before we have a house built at the retreat property. I think this is great. Um, I absolutely agree with him. The product he actually linked on that, I can't get in Canada. And I found if I get people in America to buy me stuff and send it to me, post office doesn't accept it and the Canadian tax agency, revenue agency, want a huge amount of money. So that's kind of what I would like, uh, is a much bigger battery with 120 volt output and the ability to sink in more panels. But I don't need it, and this is what I have. So, let's unbox. Which, unfortunately, I've already unboxed. But. So what you get is three lights, one of which is a motion control light. Um, these look substantially bigger than the usual orange-white BioLite lights. So I am hopeful this will be more than enough light for the, uh, the garden shed. There is a attachment that hangs down separate from the light that's an on-off switch. And I think that's a great idea if you're in a semi-permanent residency. So I'll charge this up and set this up for another video. So there are three of these. Which one is motion control? I believe it will be this one because it has a sensor on it. So what range and what the output is we'll find out. Now all of this is powered by one solar panel and this is a huge disappointment. Not the size of it or the output, I wasn't that bothered, uh, but the fact that it's a plug system uh, and the fact that I can't put these in sync. This is the panel, this panel breaks, you have to get a new panel. You can't add panels in the system, which is really, really sad. Maximum power is 6 watts, uh, operating voltage is uh, 12 volts, and operating current is 0.5 amps. So for those people who understand this stuff, that's the specs. Um, but I'm kind of pleased with it. Radio, battery charger, MVP player, has a tiny little speaker on it. Pretty sure it won't be anywhere near as good as a voice, um, but we'll see. This has an auxiliary light here as well, which would be useful, and I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it too much, but I will possibly use the radio if we have radio reception. So again, um, with this system, you can plug in the lights and the solar into it. It appears that it may only take two of the lights, not three of them. We will find out. There is um, a connection there for MV. MVP, MP3 players. Uh, the bonus of this is that there's a whole bunch of wires and screws came so I can actually put the, uh, the panel together. So my next job is to charge this and uh, see what happens. Over and out. Au revoir.